Christmas with grilling and you know you can make grilling easy why not right so this morning we have Barbie Hahn she's joining us here to give us some tips on how to do that good morning good morning my friend I know I'm excited that you're here in the kitchen with us we were joking earlier we look like ketchup and mustard yeah for grilling season I think that's perfect <laughs> you got your grill here your indoor grill, my grill pan couldn't live yeah. without it it's one of my best like $25 investments I've ever made and you know we're gonna talk today about we got a lot of grilling season left for the yeah. summer, right? And and we've been under so many rules during COVID, right? Sure. So what I want to show you today is what I call a universal recipe that's a great marinade for beef, pork, chicken. You can even do tofu. You can do shrimp. You know, you put it on anything. Like Guy Fieri said, you can put it on a flip-flop. Yeah. It'll make a flip-flop taste good. But what I want you to think about is this is more of like a some guidelines around what we're going to be using today. And you're going to put, put it in a Ziploc bag and marinate it and pull it out. And it's going to taste great. So I'm going to have you start the okay. process here. So, what do you want me to do? So what I want you to do is start with the liquid. Okay. This is kind of the base recipe. Let's start with the soy sauce. Okay. So you're going to start with between a quarter to a third of a cup of soy sauce. And this is going to be equal parts. That's good. So right? you're good. Yep. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with the Worcestershire shot. The Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire sauce. Yep. That's what I call it. Then we're going to do the same thing with the oil. Okay. And so here's the thing. We have, you likely have a lot of these in your cupboard. They're very good basic pantry staple uh -huh. items. And then this is where it gets fun. Those are like the three things that are like the basic liquid. Okay. Now I want you to root around in your fridge and I want you to find either fresh lemon juice is great. If you don't have it, don't get hung up on it. Use bottle. Lime juice, pineapple juice, or orange juice. What do you want to go yeah, with today? I want to go with lemon juice. Lemon juice? Let's okay. do it. So we're going to add some lemon juice. Uh -huh. And I don't always have fresh lemons and I'm not going to pretend like I, I do. You know? I love that you eye it because that is that's exactly what I, that just yep. eye things. Go so for it. The, the nice tip is putting your Ziploc bag over a large bowl Ooh. so it keeps it standing upright. So go ahead and pour that in there. Okay, we're in. We're in. Uh -huh. And then the next kind of couple key ingredients are garlic powder and onion powder. So take okay. a tablespoon of each of those. Okay. One to two. Once again, if you don't have a tablespoon, pour in whatever you've got. I love right? garlic powder. And love. then some onion powder. Uh huh. And then we've got some dried parsley flakes. Oh yes. How much can I use? Just have as much as you want. A I tablespoon love parsley. if you want. Okay. Now we're going to talk about additional flavors. Once again, pull out the doors on your cabinet, <laughs> yes. rip out the stuff that's old and been in there forever, and you're like, what am I going to use this for? Uh -huh. Okay, so you might have some poke garni, you might have some garlic or ginger, some liquid smoke. What do you want to put in there? I want more garlic. more garlic. I always love the garlic. Okay, throw some garlic down uh -huh. there. Okay. I know it doesn't make your breast smell well, but I, I think know, it's right? good. Yeah. Then we want to do want to put some pepper in. So Ooh. white cayenne, cayenne, crushed. Okay, so I would be sparing with cayenne because it can be hot. You can't take it back once you do it, right? Right. This is enough. That's good. Let me know how much spice you like. Okay. Now we're going to talk about a little bit of a sweet component. So because this is all very savory, right? These are very umami flavors. So we do need to balance it out a little bit. And so what sugar or brown sugar or maple syrup or honey will do, it also adds that great caramelization mm -hmm. to your meat that you want. You see how this is all has those great grill marks yeah. and caramelization. So I've got some honey or maple syrup for you today. What Let's do you want? Let's honey. Okay. Okay. How there much do I do? Just a, about a tablespoon. Nothing. There you go. Okay. And then what you would do is you would put your meat in the bag, you would massage it, uh -huh. you tip it closed, and you'd put it in the fridge and let it sit for up to eight hours. Boom, done. Now, when you get it out, you're going to dry it off. That's very, very important. And then you're going to put it in your grill pan. Mm -hmm. And if you don't hear that sound, you hear that? I love that sound. The sizzle. If you don't hear that sizzle sound, your pan or your grill is not hot enough. Okay. So you need to make sure that you have that grill sound. Okay, we're running out of time, unfortunately. Of course, then you grill it up. Yep. Really quickly, I want to talk about the garnishes for it because this looks so good. I have yep. to try. This is my pineapple habanero jam. It's available at Lear's Market in Milford or also at a beautiful world in um, Oldenburg, Indiana. So what you're going to do is after you grill your meat, mm -hmm. whether it's pork, chicken, or fish, mm -hmm. shrimp, whatever it is, you're going to take something that you have in your cupboard, whether it's my jam or some salsa, another type of jelly, that's an apple horseradish jelly, and you're going to put it over top of it, and it's just going to add that extra punch of flavor. So mm. what do you think? You like I it? Love it? Oh my God, it's spicy and, and spicy. Sweet. sweet and sweet with a little heat. Barbie Hahn, we're going to put the details on her recipe on her website, stock17.com. I love the jam. We'll be Thank right back. you. Mm. Woo!